Welcome to another session of Integrated Circuit Layout. We'll continue with the second part of the, the design rules. In this section, we'll look at the minimum width design rule. The wafer fabrication vendor the, would define the set of the design rules. So, for example, if you have a CMOS process, and it's, uh, it's to be going to be fabricated by vendor A. Then vendor A would produce a set of design rules uh, which are suitable for his process. Similarly, uh, if you have another vendor, let's call his vendor B. He also has a CMOS process. He will create a uh, set of design rules that are suitable for his CMOS process. So although both of them, both of vendor A and vendor B has a CMOS process, uh, the rules can only be used for the target semiconductor manufacturer. So if you are going to make your chip with vendor A, you have to use the design rules in from vendor A. Okay, if you use the design rules from vendor B and then go to vendor A to make your chip, it may not work. Okay, we have seen the variances of the semiconductor process having effect on the on the design rules, and another, the more global factor affecting the design rules would be the trade-off, the cost trade-off the cost to manufacture and the yield. And then it is also limited by the equipment. All right. And finally, the maturity of the tools and processes. As the manufacturer gains more experience, they tend to relax the rules so as to improve the yield and um, increase profits. Uh, whatever it is, the layout designer must follow the design rules to guarantee that certain a certain yield for the for the fabricated microchip. We have spoken that uh, the design rules from uh, vendor A and design rules from vendor B are different, but uh, the types of design rules in regardless of the manufacturer tend to be the same. Well, as you see here. The, the very base, four major types of the four, four basic types of design rules are the minimum feature or width, the minimum spacing rule, the minimum surround or overlap rule, and the exact size rule. The minimum feature or the minimum width rule defines the minimum width of a polygon or path. We talk about polygon when we're drawing devices and a path when we're drawing uh, con uh, conductors. The, this rule applies to polygon or path on the same layer. All right, minimum width or polygon or path on the same layer. So the When violated, the, when the width roof is violated, the, you'll see that there's a high probability of an open circuit. Okay, high probability of an open circuit. Let's illustrate this. Okay, here we have a polygon which conform to the minimum width rule. Now, if we decide for some reason or other we want to draw a, a polygon that is smaller than the minimum width rule. So let's illustrate this uh, in exaggerated. We have um, similar polygon. Let's 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 draw this. All right, so I'm going to exaggerate this. I'm going to shrink this 
and make it much smaller than the than the minimum this rule allows. Okay, so in this case here, I have drawn a polygon that is much smaller than the minimum width rule. And this is done usually using a computer aided tool. And um, in which case, there's no problem drawing a um, polygon that um, doesn't follow this rule. Now, but when we go into fabrication, that would be a different. That would be a different thing. Okay, just to illustrate. Just to illustrate, uh, I will. Be trying to my, my drawing would emulate. The what could happen in a. In the process, so. Uh, let me copy this first. Okay, I will be trying to. To draw something similar, so I'll draw a line like that, and you see that okay. So the my little drawing here. It's a rough, it's an emulation of the process. And you see that because the, the line is so thin, it's quite difficult for me to copy and do an exact replica of this line that is drawn. So, the, and you see that at some point, the, it gets very thin. So if in the process, this, this point may eventually break off and create an open circuit. So as uh, shown previously, when the minimum width rule is violated, there's a high probability that an open circuit will occur due to the break in the shape. A variation of the rule is that of the minimum size rule, that is the which defines the size of the context. Okay, so that means the length and width of a contact cannot uh, be less than the specified rule. 